Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Daily Energy, and this is a timeless reading, so this is for whenever you feel drawn to hear this message. Also, this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not. All right, so we're going to start out with a crystal card to get some crystal energy for this reading. See who needs to hear a message. All right, we have this one. That one's very pretty. Pink, my favorite color. Kunzite, Kun, Kunzite. Love, femininity, transition. As it breaks down barriers surrounding the heart, Kunzite offers unconditional love to heal lingering wounds. It helps you to feel safe while being vulnerable, allowing you to express your love authentically and expansively. A, high, a highly vibrational stone, protection can be used as an energetic shield that surrounds your aura and protects it against emotional vampires and negative influences. This stone aids in feminine rites of passage from puberty to becoming a mother. Kunzite supports loving your body no matter what phase of life you're in. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Venus, Pluto. I like that one. Very nice. All right. So love. Femininity, femininity and transition. Love that. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups card wanted to come out. Three of Wands. Ten of Pentacles, Death card. So that when I saw that word transition, I was thinking of the Death card in my head. The star, the hangman, the chariot, the sun, <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles. Look at this. I love these cards. I absolutely love this. I love this reading. This is such beautiful, positive energy. All right. For overall energy, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Aces are new beginnings, new starts, new beginnings. That also could represent the physical. Um, pentacles represent the physical. So also with your body, as it said from here, um, loving your body no matter what phase of life you're in. I know it can be frustrating at times where we feel we're not this and we're not that. But that it's about loving yourself for exactly the way that you are and not putting negative thoughts in your head about yourself and saying you're not this or you're not that, not comparing yourself to someone else. And Gertrude agrees. <laughs> All right, so for current energies, we have the Nine of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Death card. I love it. That's about having your wishes and your dreams, and I feel like it's to manifest, and what do you want? What are your goals for the future? Where do you see yourself in it in six months, right? Where do you see yourself in a year or five years? What are those things that you want to aim for? Um, I feel like it's good to have goals, but not to overstress yourself to if there if it's not happening to get frustrated with it because I feel like it's then you're you're going on another path that is a better direction for you. Um, we have 10 of Pentacles and that's about, I feel like it's financial security. Um, I feel that it's about those rewards and having that feeling of accomplishment. We have the death card, which is about transformation and change and focus. For some reason that word came into my mind. It's also about letting go of those things that are stopping us, right? Those skeletons in the closet, facing those and then getting rid of them and not dealing with them anymore. For future energies, I love it. It's all major cards. I absolutely love it. The star, the hangman, the chariot, and the sun. As you know, the hangman is my favorite card because that is about stopping, taking a step back, and seeing things from a different perspective, right? I feel like it's seeing things from that Nine of Cups energy. We have the star, which is that hope. 
and that belief and wishing upon a star and that's right below the nine of cups so it's like what are your wishes what are your dreams what are your things that you want to have come true and focusing on those and keeping yourself in that energy when you have those days when you're struggling and you are getting frustrated I have um, I have some uh, pictures on my um, computer and I actually printed out some and I have them on my wall and those days when I'm frustrated I just look at those pictures and I put myself in that energy you know I'm hoping you know to right now I'm renting an apartment which I've been doing for a long time 10 years and I would love to buy my own home <laughs> so that is I have pictures of the floor plan I have the pictures of you know the design on my computer and when I get frustrated and I'm having a down day or I'm feeling like oh I just don't want to do this anymore you know I just and I look at those pictures and I focus on that and I'm like yes that's my wish that's my dream that's my goal that's where I want to go so I need to keep pushing and I need to you know and looking at those pictures makes me happy it gives me that feeling of being in that home already so again for you as I've said before using those tools that will help you to get through those tougher times those struggles <clears throat> and doing those things that help you to move forward and to stay in that positive energy um, let's see I'm thinking this one I love this reading. This is a, a great way to start my day. This is my first first reading of the morning. All right. Three of Pentacles. Working on those dreams. It's not... It's good to have those ideas and to manifest and put that out in the universe about those things that you would like to accomplish and where you would like to go. But you also have to do the work to get those dreams, right? What are those things that you can do to make those dreams happen? right so for me it's that I would like to buy a house so it's me about having a budget and that when I'm out shopping it's like I have to ask myself do I really need this is this this is something if I purchase this is going to take that money away from my home so you know having that budget it's also putting that money aside and it's about those things that I need to do that work that I need to do to make that dream come happen come true right also I would love for this to be a successful YouTube channel in many different ways so what are those things that I need I need to work at that I need to make sure that I you know get my videos out and I do the best that I can in my readings and working on that and making that happen so it's not only about what are those things that you want to have happen, it's also about what is that work that you can do to make them happen. And, and while you're working to make those happen, that makes you feel good, that makes you feel like, yes, I'm accomplishing it. And when it comes true, you're like, yes, like I worked on that, I made that happen, and that's such a good feeling of accomplishment. If it's a relationship that you want to have in a better place, what is that work that you can do to get that relationship in a better place? If it's you just having that positive energy each day what are those things that you can do that can help you to get there you know is it you know those motivational um, sayings or poems or YouTube channels or whatever those things are that can start your day in a positive way that you can embrace that energy and push through the day with that positive energy you have started your day with all right, the death card again. So that again is about transition and transformation and changing your outlook and your views, like moving, not if views as in a, if it's a negative view, but turning that around and letting go of those things that are holding you back from getting your dreams, not telling yourself, no, I can't have that or everybody else has it, so I'm not going to get it. No. It's not that, it's letting that go and saying, I can, I can have that, I deserve that, all right? Knight of Cups, reaching out, feeling emotionally better. Are there people that you want to reach out to? Are there people that you want to connect with? I just feel like that's you feeling emotionally better. You're like, here I am, I'm ready to go. I'm in a good place, moving forward, moving forward. I'm feeling emotionally so much better. Lovers, okay, relationships, that's what I was saying, that if you want 
a new relationship to come in that you release those old relationship that old baggage right and that when you start a new relationship you take that time to yourself to process those energies and when a new relationship comes in that you feel that connection that it's a stronger connection you know if it's wishing on a beautiful relationship working on a current relationship for a new relationship coming on making sure you do the work on yourself so that you're ready wheel of fortune change another major card look at this major card major card this one isn't <laughs> But like this whole future energy, right? <laughs> I feel like the Seven of Swords is walking away from those things that hold you back, that those I can'ts, right? Two of Wands, looking towards the future. What paths are you going to take? What direction are you going to go? And this also represents that if you start a new relationship, it will be a very positive one. But also choosing those paths. Is it going to be a new path where, you, where you're positive and you're working towards your goals and your dreams all right the queen of wands here she is again queen of wands has come out a lot for capricorn but i was feeling last year that it was more of the negative energy but i feel like this year the queen of wands is on our side the queen of wands is like that go-getter she's like she's someone who takes action to make things happen she just doesn't she doesn't sit back and wait for them to happen She's a go-getter. She picks herself up and she's busy and she's going and she's got a lot of things on her plate. She's got a lot of things going on because she wants to make her dreams come true. I'm not saying Capricorn doesn't. I'm just saying embrace her energy of to stay motivated and to get going and to get moving and make things happen and don't settle for less. She is someone who doesn't settle for less. She she knows what she deserves and she goes after it and that's you too i love this reading it's it's so positive and it, it's so good especially i love this future energy here lots of major cards here so this is a strong message for someone everyone okay um let's get an animal oracle card And close out look at that rabbit spirit I love bunnies now is a lucky time now is a lucky time I mean look how that look how lucky that was that we had all of these major cards come out in this reading all of this, this whole, practically this whole row here is major cards we have a lot of them here so that is strong energy that wants you to embrace and wants you to move forward and wants the best for you all right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.